Welcome to New Service Jazz Podcast. And in this video, I want to show you one of the yeah, most affecting and most visible change in Service Jazz 4.0, which is the events view. So here on my left, I have my Xperia XA2 device, which is uh, running Service Jazz 3.4. And on my uh, right, I have uh, the Xperia 10 Plus device running Service Jazz 4.0. So let's get started and let's take a look at the events screen. So this is the event screen as you can see here. What you notice on first glance is the difference in design. Not only the ambience is different here, so the background, but also the design of various different, and now I get a new notification, also very interesting, uh, the design of the uh, notifications and events view in general. What you can see is first of all the weather widget and you can see that here the weather widget is a little bit bigger because it is showing the weather and the city and underneath it it's showing me the uh, current date and yeah uh, time in my time zone. And you can see that it's a bit different here on the Sevres 4.0. You can see that the time zone uh, or time and date has been moved to the top. And I think also the icon and uh, name of the city has been made a little bit smaller. So at least it looks a little bit more compact than on the left where you have like a bit more space between the time and then the weather widget here, the time and date are very close together, a little less space. So it's using less space for the weather widget. What you also can see is then that here we have the categories on the right and we have the notifications aligned left. That's a bit weird because then you have to like move your eyes from the right to the left. And it's a little bit more co uh, coherent here on Savage 4.0, where you can see, first of all, all notifications. So underneath the notifications, and then we have a little bit smaller, those um, um, categories that are also aligned on the left. So you don't have to go to the right to read the um, notification category, but you can just stay with your eyes on the left. So you don't have to jump over, which is, I think, also pretty handy. So also a bit more compact, even though this notification um, title is very big, it is still managing to make this a little bit more compact. Then what we, what we can also see is like, uh, here we have our Twitter tweet, usually it should be underneath here as well. But what you can see as well is that the notifications themselves have a little bit more room uh, to write down their message as well. And I think they also the color scheme has been changed slightly. So you can see this is white. Uh, so this is the default ambience. Uh, I can maybe switch to the default ambience here for selfish free to show you that nothing much changes here. You still have the possibility to see the notifications here. But what you can see is like the background blur is different. It's in such a way different that it becomes a little bit harder to read uh, the light text on this greenish uh, light background. So what they did here with the notification screen is making the background blur a little bit more blurry. So if I just switch to another ambience, like switch to one of my ambiences that has a little bit more going on, like this KOTOR ambience, you can still see there's a good contrast because the blur is bigger. Uh, and so you have better readability on the notification screen. So this is pretty nice. Let's switch back to the, let's switch back to water. I think water is the default one. And the other thing that you can see is like the colors. Uh, so white for the categories, again, is the same. Then for the title of the, of a notification, white as well. Then grayish for the time uh, this notification came in, like 36 minutes ago or here 19 days ago. And uh, then the text itself also in white, not in this grayish uh, secondary color, which is here. The, the content of a notification is in grayish, which is harder to read, uh, to be honest. Um, so this is the color changes that you see. But there's not only color changes in the events view. There are also 
uh, changes regarding how to use the events view. So if you press longer on a notification, just like for example, I want to get rid of this Twitter notifications, press longer here, you can see a completely different design on how to uh, dismiss notifications. So on the left, we have the classical design with an X button to dismiss notifications. And you can see that each category of a notification has an X button as well. If I get to rid, want to get rid of all the Twitter notifications, I do this by pressing here. And there's no like uh, indicator for that you usually get if you want to get rid or delete something. Then you have usually a timer that uh, runs down. And if you want to get rid of all notifications, what you have to do, you can see that some notifications are uh, turned off. You cannot get rid of them. Uh, what you have to do is like it's a bit hidden because by default it's not there. It's this bar here at the top that indicates there's a pulley menu and you can pull down and then clear notifications and this will clear all my notifications. On the other hand, on Safe S4, what you have here is a clear indicator. First of all, this is the notification category and if you hold and press down on one notification, what you get is all notifications are marked now. So basically it's switching into some edit mode where you know, okay, these are the notifications I can work with. Here it is only indicated by this X sign where you know, okay, this is what I can delete. But there's no other visual um, helping uh, option that, that helps you to see which uh, notifications can be delete deleted. Here we also have a different kind of uh, thing because this this clear all notifications is like I said hidden in Safegraph 3 under this pulley menu which is by default not visible at all so it only becomes visible if you press and hold here and this can be overseen because if you press and hold here you want to get rid maybe of this notifications and some change here is not directly visible by the user because he was pressing here and this is completely different in terms of uh, view because here we have first of all all marked we have the exit button marked as well so you have automatically see oh it's because it's very close to the notification that you mark oh there's something changing and you can see then of course as well a clear all button which allows you to clear all the notification so i can i see why yola changed it because from a user experience point of view and probably they did some user tests as well this makes a lot more sense to be directly seen by the user, especially also new users. So we can press the clear all button to clear all the notification, get rid of all the notifications. What's a little bit hidden is how do I get rid of one notification or one notification group? There's no X button anymore. So this is, I think, a little bit tricky, but you can swipe away either a notification or a whole notification group. So if I want to get rid of all notifications here, they are gone now. So this is um, a little bit yeah, unfamiliar for Safish OS users, but it might be very familiar for uh, Android and iOS users or users from other operating systems. And I think this is why they changed it here. And I'm pretty sure this is not the only change. It could be that we will see such a change maybe um, as well in other parts of the system as, uh, as well. If you want to get rid of, swipe away instead of like long pressing and then a pulley menu uh, or a context menu will pop up and you have the option to delete or something like this, which is also handy, interesting to have a context menu to pop up. But I think this swipe away gesture could be made universal in, uh, yeah, in uh, the successes of version 4.0.1. So these are the basic changes that you can see in the events view on Selfish OS 4.0 in comparison to Selfish OS 3. Uh, other changes, there are not much changes. You can see that uh, when it comes to weather, for example, weather forecast, and I click on this stuff, nothing much has changed and it's still the same kind of layout and spacing. Um, yeah, this is the comparison between Selfish OS 3.4 against the events view of Selfish OS 4. What do you think? What design do you think is better? I like, personally, I like the design of the new events view when it comes to the readability. So they improve the readability, they improve the contrast a lot, which is make, makes it a lot easier to read stuff. I still have get used to this uh, long press and then and not uh, the pulley menu maybe it would make sense to have some kind of pulley option still available for existing users. Um, plus the clear all button maybe, 
I don't have anything about this against this, though it might be like redundant if you have two options to, to clear a uh, notification. Um, if Yola wants to continue using this kind of design, they should add this kind of design also in other applications, otherwise it doesn't really fit into the system itself. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what or how they can improve uh, the, notifi the, the events view in general, because I can understand why they did the changes in the events view. And uh, I'm not used to it yet, I have to say. So I like this a little bit more easy because it's like press and hold, get uh, rid of all your notifications in one easy step. You don't have to click somewhere else. And here it is like a little bit like, uh, and then clear all. Um, you have to press a button, so you have to lift your finger and press a button. You cannot like hold and then swipe down to, to, to clear all. Yeah, what do you think? You can write it in the comment section. What do you think about this uh, change in the events view of Safeshares 4? And uh, what changes you like would like to see in the events view eventually in the future? Because Viola usually if they do a design change in one application or a major change in the system, usually they refine or um, polish it in the next version a little bit more, especially if there are complaints about this. So if you have some complaints, if you have some suggestions on how to improve this, you can write down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.